Good morning, everyone. Guess who it is? You guessed it. <laughs> Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today, I am over here in the newest master plan community called Sunstone in the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley, right off of Kyle Canyon Road. I am over here at Luna by Woodside Homes. And this community has six different floor plans to choose from with three different elevations and four are on display. So we're gonna take a tour of the Celine Plan 5. And this has 2274 square feet, four beds, three baths, a loft, a covered patio, and a deep 22 inch two bay garage, which to me is really just a two car garage, okay? Starting price of this home is $489,490, and that's just the starting price as of today. That could change depending on when you watch this video. Now, this community opened up a couple months ago officially, but they were pre-selling back in February. They have about 10 different um, what's called quick move-in homes, meaning that they will close in the next 30, 60, 90 days. Oh, they got the smart panel down here. The monthly HOA is a total of $110. This is a gated community. 55 of that goes to Sunstone. The other 55 goes to Luna with 707 SID yearly. Each of these homes will have a tankless water heater, which is nice. This is a good floor plan. I mean, for 2,200 square feet, almost 2,300 square feet, it feels good. There are 162 homes in this community, and they are offering um, builder incentives. If you use their in-house lender, they will offer 2% of loan amount towards either closing costs or to buy down your points. So they, it looks like they just used in this model the generic quartz countertop that will probably come with the home. And then this little placard says maple cabinets with 42 inch uppers is an included feature, but that does not mean that this is an included cabinet. Now, when you buy new construction, you buy it from ground up, you get to select all of your upgrades and your structural options meaning you're gonna to go to the design studio and they're gonna have a different appliance package. So you get to pick the appliances. Now, the home does not come with a refrigerator. If you want a refrigerator, you would have to spend extra at the design studio. And also, like the type of sink that you want, the type of hardware that you want. I have this sink right here, or this faucet. And then also the type of cabinets, the backsplash, the countertops, all that's upgrades. And all that starts adding up. A walk-in pantry. Now, of course, this home is not going to have this glass door. It's going to be a, a normal standard door. I like that these homes have bedrooms downstairs with a full bathroom or three-quarters bath, whichever you choose. It looks like that they did this. They modeled this as the standard um, shub. I always want to mix those two words: tub, shower insert so this is what comes with the house and if you want it as a standing shower then that would be an upgrade and if you want tile obviously that's an upgrade as well this is a good size bedroom downstairs now homes that have bedrooms downstairs on the first floor tend to sell a lot faster than homes that don't have a bedroom downstairs a lot of people like it for guests when they're visiting um, i don't know if you can see in the lighting See right there, that's a different texture. This is an upgraded texture. They have four or five different options, I do believe. I can't remember specifically. But this is, I think, called the Santa Fe. And then they also have the orange peel. And also, these baseboards are the more modern baseboards. They look like three inches. You can choose between three, five, six inches. Or they would come with more of a um, traditional design. So the edges of this wall, let me see if I can get a better image of that. The edges of the wall is an upgrade. They normally come with a rounded edge instead of the square edge. Um, so like I said, when you go start buying new construction, yes, the base price sounds great, 
But then everything starts adding up. And I'm not trying to dissuade you in buying new construction. Sometimes I think it's better to choose a standing inventory home than to build from ground up. Granted, there's pros and cons to that as well because you may not like the design features that were selected in that home. So the lot sizes are pretty decent in this community. Just gotta remember when you buy new construction in Vegas, most of the homes are gonna be tighter, smaller yards and closer together, just because we don't have that much space left. What I've noticed that all the homes in this neighborhood have a patio upstairs. Um, traditionally, when you buy new construction, the backyard is not um, landscaped. It's just gonna come dirt. The only thing that it's gonna have is the pavers underneath the patio. And also, this pre-wire for a ceiling fan in the patio is an upgrade. The only rooms that come pre-wired for ceiling fans, typically, are the great room and the primary bedroom. Everything else is gonna be additional and you would meet with an electrician or a different specialist to go over your electrical package. Like all these can lights are probably extra. The three pendant lights um, above the island is extra. So all that is extra. Now the nice thing about this community is it does have fire sprinklers or this home has fire sprinklers. So let's go upstairs. And I like that most of these homes have a, um, a loft. I like having a loft, especially when you have kids. Oh, that's nice. They made it into like a home office. Now, this right here would typically be probably a pony wall. If you want it to be more open, this stair, this rails would be an upgrade. When you buy new construction, the whole house, when you start from ground up, is carpeted. So this is a smaller bathroom. They use the same quartz as downstairs with the same cabinets. Still a very good sized shower with a bench. So the only areas that come tiled, it's going to be your bathrooms, all your wet areas, kitchen, laundry, and entry. Everything else is carpeted. If it were me and I, the areas that I would spend my money on would be electrical and flooring. I would make sure that there's no carpet anywhere. Um, if you were to put carpet, I would put it in the bedrooms only, everywhere else, hard surfaces. The reason being is that we live in Las Vegas. This is interesting. We live in the desert. No one likes carpet here. Um, it's just the dust and everything. And if you have animals, a home that has carpet throughout is harder to sell than a home that does not. So they stuck with the standard quartz countertops. These cabinets, I think, are an upgrade with these pools. The black matte fixtures are an upgrade. And this must be a style. I've seen a lot of this lately. Maybe for boys, this type of bed. And the reason I would upgrade my electrical package is, I mean, yeah, you can hire an electrician to come in and pre-wire all this stuff, but it's easier to have it done while it's being built than not because it's just a pain in the butt. Now, when it comes to other additional upgrades, I would not worry about upgrading the faucet fixtures. That's something you can change in the future if you want to go the black map route. I would um, just go with the standard builder grade fixtures, whatever comes with the house. The most important thing is to make sure you don't really put too much carpet in the house. Just for resale purposes, you always wanna think when you design your home, 
what may be on trend or what you may like may not be something that someone else would like when you resell your home. So it's important to think of that. Pick something that's more neutral, that's still nice, but is more resellable. So to summarize, this is the Celine Plan 5 with 2274 square feet with four bedrooms, three baths, a loft, a covered patio, and a two-car garage. Starting price is at $49,490, and that's just the base price. That could change by the time you watch this video. If you're thinking about buying new construction in Las Vegas, I am your new home sales expert. You can give me a call at 702 370-5112. I sell a lot of new construction in Las Vegas. If you have any questions about this floor plan, leave them down below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.